Sam Bennett as a king, and all hell's breaking loose. I'm going to get through this crazy as I can. I know I'm trying to get. All hell's breaking loose in my life. Here come the devil against me. Here come the devil against my family. I said, Lord Jesus, help me through this. I checked myself out for a song. If everything's right, stand with me to the best of my knowledge. I continue to pray. I continue to pray. I said, Lord, I ain't going to give up. Just help me give me the strength to get through this. And all of a sudden, you just watch, watch your walk with God. All of a sudden, you'll send some brother or sister back. And then all of a sudden, all you got to do, you ain't got to tell me business. All you got to do is say, I, want you just, I just want you to agree with me on something. And grab that hand and pull them up and say, hey, I want you to agree with me on something. We, we're going to shake heaven. Don't tell them. Don't, 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 don't go give them no pity party. You look up like you're a soldier of God. Say, I just want you to I want you to be with me. I'm going through a battle right now. I want you to be with me. we fixing to kick the devil's butt. Amen. amen. And we're going to get it together. We're fixing to get something done. Amen. And we start praying in our hearts, right? And, and both of our hearts, right? We, we're going to make the devil shake. And every time that we say Jesus, every demon in hell shakes. Check your Bible out. It said every demon in hell will tremble at his mention of his name. How many of you believe what I'm telling you? I said, how many of you believe what I'm telling you? All right, so here we go. And I got two or three praying for me, okay? It starts a prayer chain. It starts things happening. So all of a sudden, the power of God starts moving. So now we it's on stop here. So then we go get a hook up with somebody else. We, we get a hook up with somebody else and we come over here and say, hey brother, I want you to hook up with us. We pray for God to move in a mighty way. I want to see the Holy Spirit break some chains. I want to see God do something in people's lives. So we give him the vision and next thing you know, all my problems is gone. All my problems is behind me. I'm looking at blessings now. Maybe they don't want to start a problem. See, we're fixing to shake hell for them too. And you too. So we're going to bring together we pray to God and say, Lord, I just want your mercy. Lord, I want your grace. Lord, I want your love. And we get to pray and we get to sing in God together as a group. And guess what? The gates of hell shall shake. And I'm going to tell you something. God is going to minister to whoever we put it out there on. How many we thank God for the power that he's given to you? Amen. Amen. Giving you. And just don't quit with a preacher. Give it to you. Give it to you.
I said, Lord, anoint it. Touch whoever sits in it. Let your spirit be manifested. Protect. I went through that church touching pews and pray. That church caught a fire. The whole side of the church burned up. Nothing there. The carpet on the floor and the pews was approximately three and a half foot off of the wall. The chairs and all the carpet got burnt. They didn't even melt. They didn't have glass on them. The whole wall burnt to the ground, but the chairs were still in perfect condition. The carpet was not burnt. How did it do it? I'm going to tell you how it was done. The power of God kept it safe. Just like the power of God to keep you safe, your family safe, your dwelling safe, your mind safe, your salvation safe. I got news for you. God's still alive. And I, how many of you love the Lord? How many of you want something in your life tonight? You need to go home and I tell you. Take that all and say, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You say, preacher, I've done that. Go get you somebody else and hook up with you. You ain't got to tell nothing. And say, in the name of Jesus. Watch God move on your behalf. Watch you move. Everybody say, I'm done. I can tell you story after story just like you. Been that same feeling. Did that have nothing to do with me? It's all to do with God and His Word. That's the reason David prayed this prayer. That's the reason he said to the chief musicians. Right when he prayed this prayer, he felt the Lord lift all the stuff off of him. When he prayed this prayer, he could dance again. David was the one that danced naked in the street before God. He didn't care. He loved the Lord. That's the way we should be. Look, people. We all go through trials and tribulations. We start, we're looking at things right now. But I'm telling you, and I'll be the first one to agree with you. Let's take authority over these problems. Let's go back to the basis of the Bible and believe the Bible. God's going to get you through. Let's believe in what He tells us to do. It tells us to lay hands on one another and pray. And the Bible says that they shall recover. How many of you believe the Word of God? Amen. He said he'd supply our need. How many of you believe the word of God? Amen. He said he'd never leave nor forsake you. How many of you believe the word of God? Amen. He said he's closer than a brother. Yeah. He's there for you. We've got to believe the word of God. And I don't care, my friend. Whatever your circumstances is tonight, give them to me. Go through the wall down and say, in the name of Jesus. I'm taking authority right now. Lord Jesus, I can't do it, but you, you give me the authority to pray to the Heavenly Father in your name. So I want to see you move. I want to see you manifest yourself. I want to see you manifest your spirit within my life. And he'll do it. And then you receive that tonight. Amen. Yes. So many of you receive that tonight. Amen. Father, we thank you. I ask you tonight to touch these people. I don't know what's on my heart. But you give me this simple message. It's a prayer that David spoke to you out of his heart. That later became a song and they sang it to your people, sang it together. Thank you for the message that we preached this Wednesday about prayer. A lot of people really think they don't know how to pray. But Lord, if they got a clean heart and they sit in your hand, and we have turned from a way to way, I know you're going to hear us. I know you're going to answer us. Lord, I challenge these people tonight to take that all that represents the Holy Spirit and see you manifest within their life. I pray 
pray that you touch that Lord right now. Let them know that that's real. And Father, I give you praise, honor, glory. Why every head bowed, every eye closed, preacher, this at home tonight. I'm going through a lot in my life. 